Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope everyone's doing well and staying safe. Welcome, welcome. If you're new to my channel, I do readings for Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. And just keep in mind that this is a general reading. And we'll begin. And I have a membership section on my channel. If you're interested in joining the membership, I do uh, Divine Feminine message readings there if you're interested in learning more about the divine feminines in the readings you can have a look at that Let's see what message comes in today Oh, somebody here. Divine Masculine is over here. Um, he's staying very strong. He's being very firm um, in his decision. Uh, he already decided that he wants a new beginning in his life. Um, it looks like that he's no longer stuck in some sort of situation um, regarding a karmic person. This is somebody who is on his own. Um, I see this Divine Masculine as single in this reading. They're doing things on their own right now. This is somebody who has um, put a lot of energy, time into self now. This is all about nourishment, um, taking care of self, um, self-love, right? Self-care. And I see here that this Divine Masculine is putting a lot of hard work, energy, effort into building. He's building something new for himself. It looks like that he's trying to build a better future for himself so this has to do with not only um not only about self-growth and and things like that he's also trying to um build his things in the 3d as well so he wants to be well established he wants to be stable he wants a good foundation um he's trying to do all the things that he's always wanted to do so I feel that things that this Divine Masculine may have put on hold, he is trying to fulfill those dreams, those, um, those dreams, those plans that he always um, dreamt of. Uh, this is a Divine Masculine's really working hard. Like he's putting his heart, it feels like he's putting his whole heart, energy, his focus on this. It's like he's on a roll. This is a Divine Masculine who's like, Past is the past. This karmic person, whatever happened in the past, is gone. And now that this divine masculine, whoever this resonates for, um, now that this divine masculine is single, he's only focused on being single. So everything that he wanted to do, he feels this uh, new sense of, feels like he's able to accomplish. He's he's more motivated. He feels um, energy, like energetic. It feels like... Um, he has he has that drive to do more things in life to to go. I feel like he's a go getter. He wants to just do it. This is a divine masculine who's like, I'm not going to waste time. I'm not going to um, hold myself back. I feel like he used to hold himself back from certain things. Um, he doesn't see obstacles in his way now. This is a divine masculine who sees a very clear path. It's like. Even if something comes on my path, I'm willing to face it. I'm willing to keep moving forward. Um, this is a divine masculine who has closed off an old cycle. The end of that karmic cycle is closed. There, it shows here that, that that karmic cycle is completely closed out. There has been a split, a sub separation. This divine masculine did his cleansing removed removed a lot of the old he cleared out old feelings whatever feelings he had for this person is cleared out he healed this is a divine masculine who has healed he healed his heart and that's where the energy has come in because he's healed himself he no longer feels saddened upset disappointed 
um, exhausted. He doesn't feel any of that. This is a divine masculine who is checking all the boxes for the positive energies, happiness, motivation, self-love, respect. He's just, it's all good. It's all good energy here for this divine masculine. This divine masculine has strength. This divine masculine has courage. This divine masculine is going real fast. He's doing things. I feel like he just woke up. This is somebody who just woke up. He woke up. He's no longer like sitting on this porch. He's probably like walking around or maybe running around Divine Feminine's house doing laps. <laughs> this is a Divine Masculine who is on his new cycle. Let's show this bike underneath here. In this reading, this Divine Masculine is on his new cycle. Look at this. For those who've never seen Divine Masculine, look at this new cycle. <laughs> Yeah, you want to do laps around the house? <laughs> Let's put him here. Yeah, in this reading, this is a divine masculine who's healed. He is he's on his new cycle. This is a very positive energy. He's working very hard. He's motivated. He has a lot of things on his mind, but it's like multitasking. Like he wants to get things done. Oh, this is such a um you should be proud, whoever this divine masculine is. Wow. This is somebody like who would even like divine feminine. You would be so motivated by this divine masculine. This divine masculine is really motivated. He, he, um, I feel like, um, he, he will inspire you. This is a divine masculine who will inspire you, divine feminine. You feel that you, you're pretty motivated. You have a lot, lot going for you. But whoever ma masculine this is, I feel like divine feminine. Um, you are you. You're up. You're on top. But this divine masculine, he may surpass you. <laughs> this bike may turn into a motorcycle. This is a divine masculine is going pretty fast. I think, and what I feel. This divine masculine, um, when he woke up, he really woke up. It's like, oh my God, I wasted so much time and energy on things that didn't matter. And now it feels like he wants to catch up, catch up. And it feels like this divine masculine, um, say if he wasted the last few years of his life focusing on things outside of himself. And did not do anything for self, self-love, self-nourishment, um, even anything having to do with um, growth, right? It's like he was so busy watering somebody else's plant, he forgot to water his own plant, right? The seed still remained in the soil. It didn't take root. Now he's like, oh, look at their, their plant. Now they have like... They have a garden going on here and I'm still sitting here with my soil and seeds and they didn't even take root. Now he's like, I have to get busy. I need to work, 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 work. This is a divine masculine who is busy putting a lot of his hard work. I feel like he is going to do a lot of physical work as well because I feel like his hands will be, I feel like his hands will feel um, sore because he will be like, I need to do this. I need to do that. He will actually be working hard. Literally working hard. But I feel like he will not be, um, He it will not get to him. He won't get stressed. He's going to work hard because he wants to work hard. He's going to work hard because he's motivated to work hard. He will not do things in half measure. You will put full effort into whatever he does. This is somebody who's focused, who's motivated. And what I feel, strongly feel in this reading, this has a lot to do with this divine masculine's journey, his soul journey, his mission work. This is going to lead him to his mission work, what he's meant to do. This motivation, this hard work, this determination is going to push him, push him into a place where he's never imagined for himself. Just like the divine feminine has found their, their, found their true path, right? 
They're doing what they need to do, what they're guided to do. This divine mask in this reading, you will find the soul, you will be mesmerized by this divine mask. Whose divine masculine is this? This is some someone you will be at awe. You will you will be like, wow, what has this divine masculine transformed into? Who is this man? <laughs> Who is this man or woman? You will be not only proud, but you will be inspired. You will inspire each other. This is going to be a power couple. My goodness, this is a power couple. Wow. You know, just doing this reading, it's just making me feel so, oh. <laughs> like, there's so much energy in this reading. You feel like um, it's just so much happiness, so so much excitement, so much joy, so much love for self, so much respect, so much honor. This is somebody who is going to be doing big things in their life. They are a guide, they are a teacher, they are a healer. This is somebody who is very, very, um, this is a power couple. Most definitely, this is a power couple. This divine masculine is going to excel so far that divine feminine will be like, wow, this divine masculine, he's not of the 3D, he is of the 5D. <laughs> the 5D and 3D physical form. You will feel like your divine masculine has surpassed you, but you will feel good about it. This is a divine masculine who will take the lead leadership. I mean, you are equal counterparts, but... I feel like this divine masculine is going to step it up, step it up, step it up. This is one powerful divine masculine. I feel like he doesn't even know where he's heading. This divine masculine is, wow, you're quite strong. You, you got a lot of things coming in for you. This huge transformation here. You are going to go deep within this divine masculine. He, meaning he, divine masculine, whoever you are, is going to go deep within and whatever he needs to pull out that needs to be removed, healed. Oh, he's going to make sure it's out. He's going to clear out it, clear it all out. Self, self doubts, worries, fears, anxiety, confusion, anything that makes him feel like he needs to pull back. Mm -mm. That's going to be cleared out. This is going to be somebody who becomes so strong, so strong, and so um, so confident in self in a in a in a positive way, in a healthy way. I feel like they will make big, big changes here. Beautiful changes. feel like blessings, blessings upon blessings. The decisions that this divine masculine makes is not only going to be decisions that they feel intuitively, but they're going to make decisions that they feel that the divine feminine would, would also make. They're going to have you on their mind when they make certain decisions. When you two are in separation, while this divine masculine, this is a divine masculine who's starting to get there. He's, he's at the beginning of what he's going to become. This is somebody who, this separation is needed. This separation between you and divine, divine masculine, this divine masculine, divine feminine, you require the separation, the singleness right now. Because it's like, imagine this divine masculine, right? Right here, right? He is starting right here. And his, his destination, he needs to go around this house, right? And go up this mountain. I feel like he is right here right now. He's just at the start. He didn't even make it around the house yet. This is just a start because he needs to go within. 
he needs to be guided on his path for his mission work individually, right? As a single divine masculine, right? But when he is with, when he is on his journey, doing his mission work, that's the main thing, the mission work, right? That's what this journey is about. Divine masculine, divine femme is not about, oh, let's get back together. We live happily ever after, romantic lifestyle and whatever. The end. No. That's why not all are cut out for this. <laughs> That's why it's so difficult because you are being, it's not about tested. It's about being pushed to, to become the best version of you to heal, to learn, right? Each experience you have in your life has transformed you in some way for the better, positive. So this divine masculine, the singleness is required. Divine feminine, I feel in this reading, divine feminine, um, you're already there. You already, you're, you're up there. You're high vibration. You are doing what you need to do. You're focused. I feel like you have that love for Divine Masculine in your heart, but you still go on. You still move forward because you're doing what you need to do, right? For yourself. Self-love first, right? Because you came into full union of Divine Masculine, Divine Energy. That's the first union of the energies within self, right? So you're doing you, right? But this Divine Masculine, now it's his turn. While the Divine Feminine is doing fine, they are balanced, they are focused on self. This Divine Masculine is going to be elevating. He's going to be growing. It's the start of something, I feel something beautiful. There's new beginning here. This Divine Mas Masculine doesn't know right now where his life is heading. It's showing here this he has no clue what what his life is going to look like, the direction it's going to go. I feel like he's taking one step at a time. He's doing the task that he feels that is important to him for him for him to grow, right? But those things are going to lead him eventually to where he's supposed to be. Where he's supposed to be, this divine masculine doesn't know yet. But it has to do with his mission work. This karmic person showing here, this karmic person was a distraction and delayed his progress on his mission work. There was a blockage here. The blockage, and it had to do with the lack of self-love, lack of confidence, having fears, doubts, worries. This karmic energy brought a lot of those negative um thoughts of self um feels like self-sabotage for this divine masculine he was in the his own way yes karmic was there but he also was in his way I see here that this Divine Masculine is just going to be moving, meaning moving forward, um, moving very fast. Uh, there is a lot having to do with standing up for self, um, protection, protecting self. Uh, this Divine Masculine is going to make sure that the decisions that he makes will be good ones. They will be well thought out. Um, he will think. He will feel. And I feel like he will think about what divine feminine would what would divine feminine do if she was here or he was here. A lot of their decision making, they will think about you. Because they feel that you your decision making is very um I feel like not only smart, but they feel like it's honorable. Like the way you um, make decisions, you put others 
um, into consideration, other people's feelings in consideration. You think about the overall picture, how it may affect others, right? So you don't make decisions um, based off of your own needs. And this divine mask can realize how selfless, meaning that you, you thought about everyone else as well when you made decisions. So this divine masculine is also going to do that. And I feel like the reason being is because some of these divine masculines may start something new, a new sort of project that involves other people, a lot of people. And I feel like they are building an empire. This divine masculine is very, um, very motivated, hard worker. I feel that they're going to be working with a lot of people and these people um, will be, some will guide this Divine Masculine, some will assist this Divine Masculine. And this Divine Masculine, when he makes decisions, it can affect uh, many others. So they are going to make sure that the decisions that they make are well thought out and very smart decisions and very honorable, just like the Divine Feminine would make. So one more thing I see here in this reading, um, this Divine Masculine, he's tired of um, people uh, taking advantage or um, mis misusing. Um, I feel like they, they did things for self. They didn't really do things for um, others or for um, or do what's best for divine masculine or see what's best for divine masculine. I feel like this divine masculine is like, I'm tired of that, um, that type of experience. And they've learned a lot from different experience that has to do with people um, taking advantage and they know what it feels like. And they, because of that experience that they had with those people, they will be, uh, they will make sure that whoever comes in their path, that um, that things are done fairly, that things are done with honor, that things are done in a very professional, good, and caring manner, putting other people's uh, feelings into consideration. This Divine Masculine is going to take on a very positive leadership role. This is part of his journey and part of his mission work as a, as a Divine Masculine on his singleness, on his single season. So I feel like when these two do come into, um, when they do reconnect, it will be a divine feminine who's in their full strength, a divine masculine who's in their full strength, both doing their own independent mission work, right? Whatever skills, tasks, um, experiences that each one have from whatever their journey is, once they reconnect, they are going to, I feel like their empires are going to be intertwined. The empires are going to be one. It's going to be a power, power couple in a power empire. They are building something that is going to be very helpful for many A lot of love and a lot of focus. I feel like a lot of focus. This, These two have put the emotional side of the connection aside. Of course, the love is there, but I feel like their focus is on their journey. The focus is on what they were destined to do. That, that's why these two are a power couple. They've put their, they put their responsibilities first before their... I feel like before the romantic, romantic side of the connection, you see, because they've, they've realized that there's more to this connection than just the reunion itself. That's why these two will be very powerful on their own in separation. They will be focused on their own independent journey. And when the time is right, divine timing is right. That's when I feel these two will 
reconnect to build their ultimate, the ultimate empire. Okay, so this is the reading for today. Um, this is definitely a powerful reading. Power couple, power empire, and powerful reading. <laughs> um, if you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below. And yes, thank you all for watching. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.